Hi, my name is Kevin Schaefer. I'm the product engineer with Pure Flow Air Dog. Um, this is my 99 Ram 1500 that originally started out as a 360 gas truck. It's a single single cab short bed. I swapped the 24 valve BP Cummins into it with a uh, MV5600 six speed. Now we're going to service the Air Dog on my shorty. We recommend you change your fuel filters every 15 to 20 thousand miles or every year, whichever one comes first. Um, you don't necessarily have to use our fuel filters. We do have cross-reference numbers on the website. And another commonly asked question for our filters is if they use other filters, will it void their warranty? And no, it will not. You can use whichever filters you prefer on your air dog fuel pump. So to get started, the items that we need are a bucket, uh, fuel line clamps, a uh, fuel filter wrench, and of course, your filters. Another option, if you don't have fuel line clamps, is to use vice grips. And instead of using vice grips by themselves, just be sure to put a rag or something in there so you don't damage the fuel line. So now that you know the basics, let's get started. So to get started, uh, go ahead and clamp off your fuel lines so you don't uh, siphon fuel out of uh, the, the feed line or the return line. Okay, next, uh, take your filter wrench and go ahead and loosen your filters and take them off. These are actually pretty loose. Another tip too, before you loosen it, you can loosen the petcock on your water separator just to kind of, so it's not so full when you remove it. But the fuel filter, Get that off. So now a good tip here is just to, that diesel that you drain into a bucket, just take a little bit on your finger and uh, put it on the seal itself to make sure you get a good tight seal. And these you can just hand tighten, you don't have to put them on with a wrench. So we'll go ahead with the fuel filter itself. And again, a little bit of diesel fuel on the seal. And go ahead and put it on your fuel pump as well. You may notice that I do have a bed mount on this truck. Given the cab configuration, there really wasn't any room to put uh, a pump on this truck. So that's where, why it's at where it's at. These are self-priming pumps, but every once in a while they'll become airlocked and to prime the system, go ahead and bump the starter, say on these 24 valves, or roll the key forward if you have a key on source. And then as the pump's running, just go ahead and loosen this fuel filter. And as soon as you hear a, a pitch change in the pump or start seeing fuel starting to spray out, just tighten it real quick and you'll be primed up. So on these 24 valves, uh, you basically have to bump the starter in order to get the pump to turn on for its 30 second prime cycle. So uh, we'll go ahead and bump this, and then the pump will prime up. Now that the pump is primed up, you can go ahead and start the truck. Okay guys, uh, the last step is go ahead and uh, properly dispose of your filters and your spent fuel. You can take the spent fuel and filters to any auto parts store and they'll recycle them for you. Okay guys, if you like this content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And then follow us on all social media platforms.